Hey guys, it's Jenny. And I don't know what to say for my intro. Anyways, so, um, my week. Well, I'll just start back. I went to Florida. We went to Disney World. It was super tiring because we did all the parks and it was a lot of walking and I only had one, like, pots, like, I don't know how to describe it, malfunction, I don't know, but it was during the big fireworks at Magic Kingdom so that upset me but it's like even leaning against the railing wasn't helping I had to like squat down on the ground and it was not fun but I didn't pass out so woo and so Florida was fun and then we came back and I did a lot of resting that's pretty much what I've been doing I cleaned my room today and um, one of the days this week, one of my friends came over and just hung out and, like, watched movies and stuff, so that was fun. Um, let's see. This is my last Friday. I'm going to be switching with somebody, and I'm going to take, um, Emily's spot as Mondays. She is leaving, sadly, and gonna be sad to see her go um yeah so not much going on in my week i'm about to go to the movies oh yeah so my pinky you're not gonna be able to see but there's a little dent right there and there's one over here i shut it in the car door and it hurt really bad it still hurts to touch my nail and stuff and that was not fun and then earlier today i was walking into my parents room and i hit my elbow on their door and i'm just accident prone this week so Fingers crossed for no more of those, and my pinky still hurts, but it's going to get better. It's not broken, it's just bruised, thank God. And, yeah. So I guess questions now. <clears throat> These are out of order. And I have some, like, twos from some people because of the week I missed while I was in Florida. Um, starting with Caroline. Your hair <laughs> See, now I can't even talk. <laughs> your curly hair looks really cute I like it um, I like how it like waves and it's not like spiral and stuff I think that's really cute So, you ask what do you eat what do you like to eat for snacks I love Cheez-Its and fruit and I eat a lot of like nuts like pistachio nuts they're pretty addicting and peanuts and if I'm ever feeling bad I'll make popcorn and add lots of salt to it and then you also had what insect do you not like the most or something like that. I missed the question because it was in Florida, but um, I don't like any type of bugs. I think they're all really gross and ugh, I don't like spiders if that's like an insect. That's it. I don't know. But um, I don't like spiders, hornets, wasps. Just ugh, bugs creep me out. The only kind of bug I like is butterflies and... Ugh, I don't know, I just really don't even like any bug. I don't like anything that's creepy crawly. They're all bleh. So, I just don't like bugs in general, I guess. Um, Emily, you're going to be an amazing doctor. Like, you're going to be able to relate and stuff. And watching your video was, like, surreal for how far you came. And I'm really happy that you're healthy and you're able to go off to your college and... I hope it continues to, you continue to feel good, and I'm going to miss your videos. And I love how you wore the same shirt and had the same background. I noticed it when I first watched it, and I thought you, like, added a clip from your first video. But then I was like, wait a minute, this isn't the same, and then you said the thing at the end. And I like how you did the five things. That was cute. So, love you. We're going to miss you. And, I'm like, we all are here if you ever 
want to come back, maybe in the future, but you have to drop in with some videos, like you said. We're going to hold you to that one. Rachel, your cat is so cute. My cat doesn't like meow like that or anything, but I thought that was cute. And I have two questions for you. <clears throat> How do you feel about relationships? Uh, I'm single. I've never had a serious relationship. I'm the type of person that wants like a long-term thing and I don't date just to date. I've like talked to people, but it's never went beyond that. And I have time still left to date. And high school is just like where the boys are like, Ugh. especially like my age group there very confusing and I'm not sure if I'm ready to get into that but I guess I'm just kind of picky to whereas who I'm going to trust to actually date for a while but yeah I guess we'll see about that and the other one was is there anything you're looking forward to in fall not really I don't want to go back to school and that's when school starts again so just only want to think about that. I like how the leaves change colors, but that's, I guess it, I don't know. And I guess the football games and starting to hang out with my friends more because I'll be back in school, but yeah, no school. Eh. Um, Lauren, how long have you had pots? I think, I don't know if I counted this right, but I'm thinking four and a half years. In March, I was diagnosed, and then that's when I had, like, when I was passing out, and I was sick with both mono and pots at the same time. So I'm thinking four and a half years, but it might be three and a half years if I counted it wrong. So, one of those. Um, and Stacy, do you feel worse in the winter? Yeah, I get a bunch of sinus infections, like, all, like, every two weeks, basically. And the antibiotics just don't really work that well. Maybe it's my allergies. Maybe it's, like, POTS makes that worse. My POTS is, like, horrible because I'm tired and I don't like the cold. And even my mood gets kind of, you know, because I'm stressed in school and stuff. So, winter is not my time. And I definitely enjoy summer a lot. Oops, sorry. And I guess that's basically it. And I haven't thought of a question, so um, I'm going to pause the video and start it again while I'm thinking for a question. Because I don't want to just be sitting here staring, thinking. Hold on. Okay, I'm glad I paused the video for that because it literally, literally took me like 5-10 minutes to think of this question. And it's totally irrelevant to POTS, but that's not the first time that we've had questions like that. But how many close friends that you do you have that you can like completely trust with telling anything i have maybe three or four if that i have one that one okay i have two that i can trust with like that i have told everything but then there's like two more that i do trust a lot but yeah like since like, I've gotten sick, I've noticed that a lot of my closer friends, like, not able to share things with them because of how they haven't stuck around or been very supportive, and I have lost a few friends, so I'm glad, in a way, that now I know who those friends are that I can trust. So, yeah, how many close friends do you have that you can trust with, like, everything? Um, I will see you guys next Friday. Love you.